A group of women committed a simple, small, brave act of defiance today. Women in Saudi Arabia decided that they have a right to drive a car, even though it is forbidden in their ultra-conservative kingdom. There were cheers for them from around the world. One Twitter message saying, Saudi women, start your engines. ABC's Lara Satrakian on this small rebellion in the season of the Arab Spring. To conservative Saudis, what you're seeing here is not just a crime, it's a sacrilege. It's kind of bizarre. But Arija Khan is one of thousands of Saudi so women weird. who've had enough. Her campaign, We the Women, plastered Jeddah with signs calling for the right to drive. And today, dozens of women took their message to the streets. One female protester saying, I think the community is ready to accept us and welcome us as drivers. Last month, one woman's bold move, a YouTube manifesto, turned her into the Rosa Parks of the Arab Spring. Her subsequent arrest, detention for more than a week, turbocharged the cause. Fueled by Facebook, publicized on Twitter. And despite the country's strict reading of the Quran, mandating a wife's subservience to her spouse, the big surprise, support from the husbands. We've seen men support their women and say, uh, I, want my woman to, I want my wife to be independent, and that's why I want her to drive. The protesters say the kingdom's gender apartheid is not just unjust, it's unfair and inefficient. Saudi women at this factory in Riyadh can drive the supply trucks, but they can't drive home. And for these women, low-income mothers, paying a driver up to $400 a month is a burden they can't afford. It adds to that social injustice and it, uh, uh, that women feel uh, already in the Middle East. If they could ride camels 1,400 years ago, why can't they drive cars today? As Saudi women push back, the optimistic say that change is ahead. Now that I've done it, I'm worried that I might not, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> this is incredible. Lara Satrakian, ABC News, London.